tasting urine, fighting babies, showering feces? Who said finding a mate was simple in the animal world? From gross to violent or downright cute, hang on as we have a list of animals that will astonish you with their unusual and extreme mating rituals. Elephant in Must Every January and February during the dry season, the fifth leg of male elephants protrudes out of their body, which marks the beginning of their mating season. They enter an extremely violent, hormonal, and irritable phase of their life called must. But what if the elephant doesn't get a female? No, you don't want that to happen, especially if there are chances of you getting in front of them. Elephants in must don't care about anything but getting laid. So if you ever see an elephant goring a poor buffalo, doing a poor rhino, yeah, he's actually doing it, flipping a poor baby elephant, messing with hippos, and chasing humans. And humans. And humans. And destroying cars. And cars. And cars. Know that there is a 50-50 chance of it being in must, and a 100% chance of it ending the whole world. An elephant in must either wants a female or wants you dead. There's no in-between. There are many historical accounts of elephants rampaging through villages. Every year, there are a handful of fatal attacks on locals by must elephants. Even on safari, bull elephants will mock charge, chase vehicles, and even throw branches at tourists. Testosterone levels in an elephant in must can be, on average, 60 times greater than in the same elephant at other times. A tar-like thing leaks from the male's gland during must, which looks like the elephant is sweating. But actually, this indicates a perfect time for a male elephant to mate. Must typically lasts between two to three months, so one should avoid an adult elephant during this period. Scientific investigation of must is problematic, because even the most placid elephants become violent towards humans and other elephants during must. Generally, it is characterized by the secretion of a hormone-rich substance called temperin from the temporal gland, which naturally trickles down into the elephant's mouth and a steady trickle of urine down the back legs of the elephant. This causes the animal to feel more restless, energetic, aggressive, or unpredictable and generally irritable and very sensitive to sounds and movements. Another contributing factor may be the accompanying swelling of the temporal glands, which presses on the elephant's eyes and causes acute pain, comparable to severe toothache. Elephants sometimes try to counteract this pain by digging their tusks into the ground. Since female elephants are only in the mood once about every five years, and all male elephants will run to face each other for a chance to mate, the bull elephant that loses doesn't get a chance to mate and is often seen exhibiting extreme violence. Even sometimes bully the baby elephant in order to get the attention of its mother. Furthermore, bulls in must have often been known to attack female elephants, regardless of whether or not the females are in heat. While a few African predators can tackle small females or calves, a grown male in must is off the menu. Predators would have to be mad to take on the massive animal. In fact, any animal is in danger if they come too close. That includes fellow herbivores, who don't even pose a threat. But elephants are often seen bulldozing them. Elephants become the most disrespectful things on the planets when they're horny. But do you know who's another crazy animal when it comes to mating? Giraffes. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Necking and urinating in giraffes. It's nature's rule. The only one with ultimate power and strength is allowed to transfer his genes. Giraffes rarely mess with other males, but when the war is for a lady, no one will want to lose her. When adult males joust for a girl, their horn-like pair of ossicones thrust with the force of their long necks. 
They fight to look like a real handsome, confident, and outspoken bloke before a girl. And the one who wins gets a chance to have a mouthful of a special drink offered by the female giraffe. If she likes the male, she'll voluntarily produce urine, which he'll sniff and taste to see if she's available for mating. The giraffes have the ability to detect the hormones in urine because they don't want to waste time and energy trying to court a female who is already occupied. B. In the world of honey, when the virgin queen flies, it's a time to ride, and each bachelor wants to take a ride that will eventually end with life. When a drone bee has the rare chance to mate with the queen, it's the last thing he does. He ejaculates with an explosive pop, rupturing his endophallus. He becomes paralyzed and flips over backwards. His barbed endophallus remains in the queen, ripping open his abdomen, and it's torn from the rest of his body. After performing his part, he dies, and the proud queen holds onto his semen for later use. Squid. Scientists have uncovered the bizarre and intricate mating rituals of the deep water creature, and once word gets out, the squid is certain to become the talk of the ocean. The lowly squid has the kind of stamina that could put Sting to shame. The mating begins with a circling nuptial dance, where teams of squid continuously circle around spawning beds. At daybreak, the squids begin to mate and only halt the activity for the female to deposit her eggs. Once she comes back, she reunites with her male companion, and the process begins again. At dusk, the males and females go offshore to feed and rest. They head back to the spawning area with the first sight of the sun, and go at it again all day long. In fact, it's believed that the routine can last for up to two weeks, which undoubtedly results in some sore tentacles. Nursery Spider Web the male must have a gift on hand in order to make a good impression on the females. Insects make the best gift baskets, and this nursery spiderweb brings a present of dead prey, equivalent to a box of chocolates to offer a female as a nuptial gift. Before setting out to look for a mate, the male spider traps a prey insect and wraps it festively in silk threads ready for presentation. Yummy food carefully wrapped in chemical-laced silk is enough to persuade females to copulate. The female has the option of accepting the offer or rejecting it. If the gift is accepted, the female tears it open and begins eating the food inside, while the male initiates mating. Hippo. Now, after we have seen dancing, designing, and gifting techniques, how about some perfuming? After all, each male in the animal kingdom has his own secret flirting style. Urine and feces are the cologne of the hippo world. To impress bulky female hippos, males don't just defecate and urinate near them. They use spinning tails, and some of them even break wind powerfully on the earth to fling the mess far and wide to make sure all the females in the area can smell it and feel the love in the air. If the lady likes the scent of the spray, she'll raise her rear up out of the water to show she's ready to reciprocate by showering him in dung. Mannequin. The mannequin would have given Michael Jackson a red hot run for his money because this small, attractive bird performs difficult and elaborate courtship dances with fast and intricate movements, all to attract the female. This guy has mastered the moonwalk as he zips back and forth to the beat of his own drum. Sound is equally important to the boogie, and the mannequin male can put together an ensemble of buzzes, snaps, and whirs to really wow his girl, and to warn other males to back off. Female selection for mates is solely based on the performance elements like dancing speed and motor coordination. Pufferfish. Birds are the most well-known coquette, until you see this male constructing seafloor circles to woo females. Let me introduce you to this species of pufferfish with mating in its mind. Males swim along the seafloor, flapping their fins to sculpt the remarkably intricate ridges and valleys, a process that takes seven to nine days, and then decorates them with shells, fragments, and sediment. Females come to examine the finished circles and decide whether they'd like to mate with their makers. 
After interested females are fertilized, they lay their eggs in the nest site at the center and vanish. Then, the male fertilizes them externally by staying for another six days, perhaps to guard the eggs. Camel. There's no doubt that animals do employ very strange and very effective tactics to gain their mate's attention, because females always choose the dominant one to be the father of their kids. But camel mating rituals are really nasty. With the first call of spring, like all other animals, male camels also prepare themselves to entice prospective mates by asserting dominance. Camels have a specialized large pink inflatable sack in their throats called a dulla that they use to produce a mating call. The tongue-like organ hangs out of their mouth, which looks like a red balloon, and it drools excessively, which they use to create a low gurgle. After spotting a gurgling camel with slimy and white froth, the excited lady will raise her tail to show her interest. Praying Mantis Every guy knows that the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach, and that's definitely true for female praying mantis. But in this case, courtship can be a dangerous affair, because the male mantis has to sacrifice his life. After feeling the scent of a perfect mate, the male mantis quickly approaches her. The starving lady welcomes the coming partner with open arms and mouth. Just when the mating begins, the female starts to consume her partner's head first by chomping into it like an apple. Once he is decapitated, a separate mini-brain in his tail kicks in and actually speeds up the performance to provide a female with a large number of proteins, with which she can produce more eggs. After the mating is done, the female cleans her face like a cat. Bowerbirds Let's meet this interior designer, or event manager, or should we say, the flirtiest of all animals. Male bowerbirds know very well to attract a princess by building castle-like bachelor pads. They even decorate their bowers with arrays of colorful objects that appear to be selected and displayed for their aesthetic appeal. But there's more to their arrangement than meets the eye. When a potential mate arrives, the male stands in the court and shows her the colorful objects. The illusion. The objects are arranged with the larger objects farther away from the bower. From where she's standing, this makes him look larger than he actually is. If a female admires a bower, she enters it, but the mating ritual isn't over. The male then proceeds to perform a dance while holding a favorite trinket in his beak. Capuchin Monkey Capuchins perform a mating ritual since they don't display fertility indicators, but this sort of behavior has never been witnessed in the wild before. Whenever a female bearded capuchin monkey wants to get the attention of a male, she just does one thing, and that is rock his world. To get the male's attention, the capuchin females throw rocks at high-ranking males, and in most cases, the male ends up mating the pitcher. The females are prolific rock pitchers, more than one another. Now you can guess what that implies. These monkeys have got it aplenty. Apart from just targeting and launching stones and big rockers to get attention, they also use embarrassingly familiar tactics like posing, pouting, and touch the fur and runaway plays with the male to significant effects. Hooded Seal for humans, red means to stop. But in the hooded seal's language, red means let's begin. In one of the strange mating adaptations in nature, the male hooded seals are inflatable, which means they have a bulb-like sac above their nose, which they can blow up, just like a piece of chewing gum. During their hangout around the icy islands, males inflate this red balloon-like nasal septum until it protrudes out of one nostril. A huge red balloon on a silver-gray body is an extravagant sight. The bigger the hood, the better they intimidate other males and increase their chances of attracting a female. Yet, if the impatient youngster fails to impress a cute, bulky lady, he might face a big rejection. Sloth! 
It's 2022, and I think females have understood that it's totally okay to take things into their own hands, especially when it comes to dating. Even female sloths know what's up. They've been doing it for years. When it's time to get together, female sloths are not shy about what they need. The fearless female will let out an almighty scream to call for any males in the vicinity. On this very public announcement, the male sloths get very excited and will go in search of the beckoning female. Copulation is the only thing sloths do quickly. Mating takes less than a minute. After it's over, the dominant male will stay nearby for several days, mating with the female frequently and fighting off any other males that wander too close. Humpback. When you realize that you have a better chance of getting attention by teaming up with two of your friends that also have an interest in her two friends, what do you do? You go ahead, I think. Right? Maybe? Uh, whatever the answer is, male humpback whales understand this principle, so they always turn up the charm by fascinating the females with their melodious songs that echo in a hauntingly beautiful manner. <laughs> When looking for mates, males gather in large groups in areas researchers call arenas. They then spread out and all sing together to let the women know where they are. The mournful, curiously repetitious, yet ever-changing songs of male humpback whales have long puzzled scientists. Even sexually immature males join older males in singing, apparently as a way to learn the music and amplify the song. Anglerfish if you ever find yourself in the murky depths of the Atlantic or Antarctic Ocean, I am sure you'll be astonished to see a very strange yet spectacular pair of deep sea monsters. Anglerfish, an animal with a notoriously bizarre mating ritual. The mating begins when the females use a shiny lure to attract the mate. After finding one, the male devil black angler sinks his teeth into the female. He attaches himself permanently and lives as a parasite on the female's larger body and never lets the female go. However, as their bodies fuse, the male becomes completely absorbed into the female, losing any independent existence. All that remains are a pair of gonads, which the female keeps using when she's ready to reproduce. Garter Snake The award for the most bizarre mating ritual goes to garter snakes, where they form a roiling, seething, slithering mass known as a mating ball. Every spring, the males emerge first from their underground lairs and become active to advance their race. After two weeks, a larger female appears, emitting her special pheromone to attract the excited males. But if many males converge on a single female, an orb is formed by the athletic competition to push other males aside and to maneuver into the appropriate position to mate. In addition to the physical struggle, males may also employ an anoxic kiss that may deprive her of the oxygen she needs to keep struggling, and in extreme cases, she dies. Once the female has mated, she stops emitting her pheromone, and within minutes, the males disperse. It's time for today's open discussion. This rare footage of an adult elephant in such a bizarre situation captured in Kruger National Park shocked the people because this young elephant was a perfect example of where there's a will, there's a way. It was the first sighting of this elephant in 2019 without a trunk when it was very young, which made people concerned about his survival. It was believed that the trunk was torn off by some kind of predator during a horrific event which mostly happens when crocodiles grab baby elephants while drinking water. In rare cases, a calf can be born without a trunk as well. But after a couple of years, when people witnessed this same elephant, they were happy to see him alive. Porcupine. While talking about the most unusual mating rituals, how can we forget this cactus of the animal kingdom, which has the most exceptional breeding habits? In late autumn, when most rodents are rushing to top off their winter caches, porcupines date. The females can only mate for about 8 to 12 hours per year, so she advertises her status with scented urine in her territory, which she defends against other females, whereas males may fight over a female. 
For a male porcupine intent on winning his mate, success requires patience, perfect timing, strength, and perseverance. The male porcupine soaks the female with urine from up to seven feet away. If she likes the smell, then she will mate with him over and over again until he's completely exhausted. Eventually, the female climbs onto another branch and screams back at her mate to end their union. Peacock Spider At wild parties, males are often seen engaging in flirty activities to draw the attention of beautiful ladies. And this little guy knows all the tricks of the trade. The male peacock jumping spider must dance for his life. Peacock spiders have the attire and the moves to win the hearts of not only female spiders, but also of humans. During a search for a mate, a male will periodically pause atop a perch to wave his third pair of legs. In order to woo a female and avoid being eaten, he performs an intricate dance using a brilliantly colored fan attached to his abdomen. A female is pretty picky when it comes to her baby's daddy, because if she doesn't like the performance, she will punish the male with a sentence of death. And if approved, the male is allowed to mate. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.